Chapter 2 Operational Overview ECDIS Display The ECDIS Electronic Chart Display and Information Systems screen is divided into several areas. First is the status bar that provides for selection of operating mode, chart format, IMO chart display, one-click restoration of IMO standard display, etc. Next is the sensor information box that displays ship's speed, course and position, and selects sensors. The own ship functions box applies offset to the chart. The route information box shows route and waypoint data when a route is selected for navigation. The overlay or nav tools box provides for setup of the radar overlay and navigation related functions. The alert box shows operational and system alert messages. The VRM boxes measure the range to an object. The permanent warning box displays chart related warning messages. The EBL boxes measure the bearing to an object. The instant access bar provides quick access to functions such as brilliance adjustment, display palette and the menu. The contents change according to the operating mode selected. The chart scale or presentation mode box selects the chart scale and presentation mode. The cursor position box shows the latitude and longitude position of the cursor and the TTG to the cursor. The electronic chart area shows the ECDIS chart. Electronic charts in ECDIS. The electronic navigational charts are displayed in the electronic chart area. There are two kinds of electronic navigational charts available for use in the ECDIS. S57 ED3, ENC or CM93 vector format and ARCS raster format. In this training, only vector charts are covered. Status bar. The status bar primarily provides selection of operating mode, chart type, and IMO chart display setting. Let us closely look at each of these buttons functionality. One, operating mode, selects the operating mode, ECDIS or CONNING. Two, Navi button lets a user select the voyage navigation mode. 3. Charts button goes to the chart maintenance mode. 4. Plan button selects the voyage planning mode. 5. The others button plays back log and set system in standby. 6. Chart only shows only the chart when the left button is pressed and held down. 7. Standard display button restores the IMO standard display instantly. 8. Chart priority selects chart priority when both vector or raster are available. 9. Chart database selects the predefined presentations of ENC content, IMO base, IMO standard or IMO all 10. The question mark or help button displays the operator's manual ECDIS program number and system info. 11. The settings button manages user profiles and opens the settings menu. 12. The date section displays the date, selects the time to use, local or UTC. It sets the time difference between local and UTC to use local time. 13. Time shows the time, UTC or local. 14. The rotating icon rotates clockwise if the system is working properly. If it is not spinning, the system is not working. Shortly after it stops spinning, the buzzer sounds. If the rotating icon stops rotating, reset the power to restore normal operation. How to operate the buttons on the status bar. There are two types of buttons on the status bar toggle button and drop-down list button. You operate the buttons with the trackball module. Toggle button. A toggle button alternately selects one of the two functions assigned to a button. The background color of a toggle button is light blue when the button's function is enabled, gray when disabled. The navy button is an example of a toggle button. 
drop-down list button. A drop-down list button provides a drop-down list to select an option related to the label on the button. The chart database button is an example of a drop-down list button. A drop-down list button has a list status indicator whose position changes according to list status. Instant access bar. The instant access bar contains all the operating functions related to the selected operating mode like voyage planning, voyage navigation and chart maintenance. The bar is divided into two sections, upper and lower. The buttons in the upper section change according to the mode selected. The buttons in the lower section are static for all modes, with the exception of the mini conning button, which only appears in the voyage navigation mode. A button with a triangle mark at its bottom right corner indicates a button with multiple functions. Voyage navigation mode bar. Voyage Navigation Mode Bar Minimize button minimizes the instant access bar. To restore the maximized bar, click anywhere on the minimized bar. Route Functions User can select route, deselect route, move route to plan and monitor route. MSG button processes AIS safety and Navtex messages. Manual Update shows you the menu for manual update of chart objects. TCS Track Control System controls use with specific autopilots. TCSOP starts the TCS. TCS Stop stops the TCS. Go AW and Go C activates the respective steering mode. Status shows or hides the Track Control Status window. Chart Maintenance Mode Bar the chart maintenance mode bar comprises back arrow, auto load, manage charts, cell status, license, public key and system. The back arrow minimizes the instant access bar. The auto load button automatically loads and installs ENC charts. Manage charts deletes charts and installs charts manually. The Cell Status button helps you to find cell status. License enters license information. Public key shows the current public key. The public key changes each time a new one is installed. System functions for chart synchronization. System comprises Sync Config, Sync Status and Reconvert. Sync Config selects the Ectus units to synchronize. Sync status checks synchronization status. Reconvert reconverts outdated SENC charts to the corresponding current ones. Voyage planning mode bar and common bar. Voyage planning mode bar comprises back arrow, planning, report, guide box and manage data. Back arrow minimizes the instant access bar. Planning creates routes and user charts. Report displays route and user chart reports. Guidebox shows or hides the guidebox, which provides range and bearing measurement between waypoints when creating a route. Manage data manages routes and user charts. Clicking the triangle gives further options. These are route this option, imports, exports and deletes routes. User chart deletes user charts. Data import imports routes and user charts created with FEA 2x07 ECDIS. Common bar. Common bar comprises mini conning and chart info. Mini conning shows or hides the mini conning display. This option only shown in the voyage navigation mode. Chart info is used to provide chart information. Other options on clicking the triangle include Chart Legend. This shows Chart Legend. Viewing Dates sets Display Date and Approved Until Dates. Chart 1 displays an overview of the ECDIS chart symbols. The DISP button shows the Chart Display menu. Symbol Display menu, Chart Alert dialog box. 
Two display button splits the screen into two, vertically or horizontally, in the voyage navigation mode. The AIO button shows or hides the AIO overlay. Keyboard shows or hides the software keyboard. The record button display event logs. These include user event and POSN event. Nav log provide voyage details and chart usage and target log displays danger target logs. With the palette button, user can select a color palette, day, dusk or night. The brilliance button is used to adjust the brilliance of a Furuno monitor unit. The MOB button inscribes the MOB man overboard mark. User can take a screenshot with the capture button. The undo button restores the previous condition in root and user chart creation. How to operate the buttons on instant access bar. The instant access bar has four types of buttons. Toggle button, drop down list button, slider bar button and specialty button. The buttons can be operated with the trackball module or the instant access knob. This section shows you how to operate the buttons with the Instant Access knob. First, push the Instant Access knob to enable its use with the Instant Access bar. Then rotate the Instant Access knob to select a button. The background color of the button selected will turn light blue. Push the knob to select setting if you select the toggle button. If you push drop down list button or slider bar, then rotate the knob to select an item or adjust the slider bar. After the selection is done, push the knob to confirm your selection or setting. Remember that you can use the escape key to go back one step in the current operating sequence. Sensor information box. When the user selected sensor fails, the system automatically selects another sensor. When this occurs, the color of the sensor name changes from green to yellow. The digital indications and sensor names are colored according to sensor state. HDG indicates heading and its source. SPD shows longitudinal speed and its source. The direction of transfer speed is indicated with arrows. Forward arrow, starboard, backwards arrow, port. Caption COG shows the course over ground and its source. The caption SOG indicates the speed over ground and its source. The caption POSN indicates the latitude and longitude position of own ship and its source. Own ship functions box. The own ship functions box shows information about own ship. ENC info. Electronic chart info appears below the offset. Last row of ship function box displays the TM or CU status. The display here can be TM or CU reset and TM reset off. TM or CU reset indicates that true motion reset is active. At this state, chart is stationary and own ship moves on the chart. TM reset off. When dragging the chart, true motion is off. To restart true motion, click this indication. When the cell displays ship off screen, indicates that the ship is out of the display area. Root information box. Root information box provides information about route, plan speed, plan course, course to steer, CH limit, off track, TC, to WPT, DIST to WOP, wheel over point, time to go, turn RAD, turn rate, UKC, and next WPT. Route provides name of monitored route. Plan speed gives the information on plan speed to approach to waypoint. Plan course shows you the planned course between previous waypoint and two-way point. Course to steer provides calculated set course to follow the monitored route, including off-track, drift and gyro error compensations. CH limit gives you the planned width of channel to approach to waypoint. 
Off-Track provides information on the perpendicular distance the ship is from the intended track. TC, Track Control System Status. There is no indication if TCS is disengaged from the Ectus. To WPT is the waypoint that the ship is approaching. DIST to WOP is the distance to the point where rudder order for course change at 2WP is given. Time to go is the time to go to WOP. It is estimated in hours, minutes, seconds. Turn RAD, RAD, will provide the planned turning radius at 2WPT. Turn rate is the calculated rate of turn that is based on current speed and planned turning radius. UKC is under keel clearance set for 2WPT. Next WPT is the WPT following the 2WPT. Overlay or Nave Tools Box The overlay or Nave Tools Box sets up TT or AIS, Echo, Radar Overlay, Parallel Index Lines, Range Rings, Predictor, Predicts Ship's Future Movements, Anchor Watch, Under the Keel Clearance Graph, Check Area, Alert Box, The Alert Box shows the user operational and system alert messages with alert ID number and alert message. Permanent Warning Box The Permanent Warning Box displays chart-related warning messages. The box cannot be closed or minimized. How to enter alphanumeric data. It is necessary to enter alphanumeric data on some screens. The data can be input three ways. Keyboard of the control unit, software keyboard or trackball. In both cases the use of keyboards is very similar to a computer keyboard. Refer to the manual for details. To enter alphanumeric data entry from the keyboard of the control unit. First, Click the input box, press the appropriate keys and then press the enter key. Every key on the keyboard has some specific function. For example, the tab key moves the selection cursor. The caps lock lets users switch between uppercase and lowercase alphabet. Shift key turns caps lock on and off with the caps lock key. The function of the BS, backspace, is to erase a character left of the cursor. Enter key will terminate keyboard input and also insert line feed. The different arrows keys, like up, down, forward and back, moves cursor in direction of arrow. Spacebar key inserts a space. There is, however, no use of the control key in entering alphanumeric data entry. Alphanumeric data entry from the software keyboard. A software keyboard is also available for entry of alphanumeric data. To use the software keyboard, display the keyboard before opening menus. On the instant access bar, press the DISP, keyboard and on buttons to show the software keyboard. The backspace, enter, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow and spacebar on the keyboard function the same as those keys on the keyboard of the control unit. To switch between the alphabet keyboard and symbols keyboard, click the exclamation dollar and key. Click the input box. 
Click appropriate keys and finally click the Enter key. Clicking the X button at the top right corner of the keyboard will erase the software keyboard. Alphanumeric data entry with the trackball module. To enter data with the trackball module, put the cursor in the input box. This will allow the up and down arrows to appear at the right side of the box. Next, enter data by one of the methods shown here. First is spin the scroll wheel to set data upward to decrease the value or downward to increase the value. Second method is to click the up triangle to increase the value and down triangle to decrease the value. To enter latitude and longitude data with the trackball module. First, put the cursor in the input box. A selection cursor, light blue, appears. Next, Enter data by spinning the scroll wheel, upward to decrease the value and downward to increase the value. How to select the operating mode. To select the operating mode, Click the Display Mode button at the far left side of the status bar to select the operating mode, that is ECDIS or Conning. ECDIS displays electronic charts. The Conning display provides user comprehensive navigation displays such as wind direction and rudder angle in analog and digital formats. The Conning button is, however, inoperative if the Conning display is fed to another monitor. Select the chart operating mode. The ECDIS has three operating modes, voyage navigation, chart maintenance, and voyage planning. To select chart operating mode, first select the mode from the status bar with the plan, charts, and navi buttons. The background of the button of the active mode is blue. How to select the chart scale. When you open a chart, it is displayed with the default scale, called the compilation scale. The scale range is 1 to 1000 to 1 to 70 million. To change a chart scale, first click the chart scale selection buttons in the chart scale or presentation mode box. Then right click anywhere inside the chart scale or presentation mode to show a drop down list of chart scales. Next. Put the cursor anywhere on the chart and then spin the scroll wheel. Note that when the radar overlay is active, the chart scale is shown in nautical miles, NM. If a location in the chart area is available with more detail, the message Larger Scale ENC Available will appear on screen. How to select the presentation mode. The presentation mode is available in Northup TM, Northup RM, Horseup TM, Horseup RM, Rootup RM, and Headup RM. Click the triangle to show the drop down list of presentation modes. Cursor Position Box The Cursor Position Box shows cursor position in latitude and longitude. It shows the time to go to the cursor position. The bearing, true or relative, and range to the cursor position or XY coordinates of cursor position. Clicking on the bearing and range or XY coordinates indication will switch the display in the sequence Bearing T, true, and range in NM to cursor position. Bearing R, relative, and range in NM to cursor position. X and Y coordinates of cursor position. True motion reset. 
In the true motion mode, the chart is stationary and ownership moves on the screen. With TM, true motion reset, reset active, ownership moves until it reaches the true motion reset borderline and then the chart is redrawn and ownership jumps back to an opposite position on the screen based on its course. This resetting can be done manually by clicking the TM or CU button in the Own Ship function box. When the TM reset function is active, TM or CU reset appears at the right side of the display. To enable automatic TM reset, click the TM reset off indication at the right side of the display to show TM or CU reset. When the TM reset is disabled, change the chart scale with the scroll wheel and scroll the chart by drag and drop. The ownership information box shows TM reset off. When ownership moves off the screen, the box shows ship off screen. How to set the true motion reset borderline. To set the true motion reset borderline, you can set the limit for TM reset in percentage on the basic setting page. Setting the limit for TM reset in percentage, for example 100, resets the position when the own ship marker reaches any edge of the display. How to control route and user charts in Voyage Navigation and Voyage Planning modes. Click the appropriate Chart Mode button, Plan or Navi at the top of the display to go to respective mode. For the Voyage Navigation mode, click the Route button and then click the button corresponding to the action to take. For the Voyage Planning mode, Click the Planning button followed by the Route button to select a route or User Chart button to select a user chart. The Voyage Navigational Mode functions are Select, Unselect, Move to Plan and Route Info. Move to Plan function moves Active Route to Voyage Planning Mode and Route Info shows the Route Information dialog box. The Voyage Planning Mode functions are Route that shows the Route Plan dialog box to create or edit a route and User Chart that shows the User Chart dialog box to create or edit a user chart. How to use the VRM and EBL The VRM measures the range to an object and the EBL measures the bearing to an object. There are two VRMs and EBLs. The lengths of the dashes on the EBL2 and VRM2 are longer than those of the EBL1 and VRM1 to distinguish them. The color of the VRMs and EBLs is orange. How to hide or show an EBL or VRM. Showing or hiding an EBL or VRM can be done by a control unit and also by a trackball. To show or hide EBL or VRM through a control unit, push EBL or VRM key to hide or show respective marker. To show or hide through a trackball, click the arrow on an EBL or VRM box to hide the respective marker. To redisplay the marker, click the minimized box. How to measure the range and bearing. To measure the range, put the cursor on the VRM, then drag the cursor until the VRM is on the inner edge of the object. To measure the bearing, put the cursor on the EBL, then drag the cursor until the EBL bisects the object. The EBL bearing reference can be true or relative. To select bearing reference, click the EBL reference indication to display T, true or R, relative.
EBL, VRM functions available with the context-sensitive menu. The EBLs and VRMs have additional functions that are accessed from the context-sensitive menu. Right-click any VRM or EBL box to show the context-sensitive menu. The context-sensitive menus have functions like Centered, Ground and Offset HDG and Offset North. Centered function centers the origin of the EBL and VRM on the current position. The ground function anchors the EBL and VRM to ground. Neither the EBL or VRM move with ship's movement. Offset HDG. Drag and drop EBL, VRM on desired location and then select Offset HDG as shown in this video. When vessel changes course, the EBL VRM move so that the range L and angle D to their centers stays fixed. Offset North. Drag and drop EBL VRM on desired location and select Offset North 